Introducing Navi. Old boy. Yeah, old boy's gonna go and get this uh, confirmed with oh. the run over. That'll shut down that uh, that idea. McHugh. McHugh shuts down Federal's position and looks to get the flush as well. Will land the final bullet. Matic. Do it, but they spread out. Okay. Rex falls. Matic holding strong for now. Navi. That's their last player standing. And very, very low. The rest of them go okay. out wide. Okay. High falls. Matic low as well. Tixie. Yuhai getting caught out the vehicle. Oh. Team Sick are getting punished right now from Tixie. Your PUBG Mobile Global Championship Season 0 League Play 13th place team. That was Nados Vincere or Na'Vi, the EMEA champs, and these guys came in with a lot of lofty expectations, and honestly, they scared us. The first two weeks, they missed out entirely on the Super Weekend. My name is Powerbag, I'm here with my co-host Hot Jukes, and Na'Vi came back in weeks three and four with a thundering exclamation mark to stamp their entrance into the PUBG Mobile Global Championship Season Zero Finals. And boy, am I glad they did, because, I mean, this is a powerhouse squad. I mean, such a huge organization coming into the PMGC. We had all the expectations of the world. I had them picked as the top EMEA team going into this tournament, so seeing them miss the two Super Weekends was a straight shock, but they were able to get it done, and I'm hoping to see them get it even done even more coming up in the finals here. They did sneak in, and let's go ahead and see who led the charge for Navi. When talking about Navi, I got to start talking about Tixie. I mean, this guy came from Konina Power onto this squad, and he is an absolute all-star. We've seen him perform multiple times really well in these different tournaments. At the end of the day, though, when you get on a new team, it's tough. You got to deal with synergy as well as a lot of other things. But so far, man, this guy has got a lot of potential going to the finals. Also have to take a look at Matic. Matic led the squad with 62 kills over the course of the four weeks of league play. I would imagine those kill totals would have been a lot higher had they qualified for those first two Super Weekends. That took a lot of games off the table for these guys to pile up the stats. But in addition to Matic, I also got to tip my cap to Old Boy as he's been around the scene for a long, long time. This guy goes way back in the global competitive scene and Old Boy's got to be a source of experience that Navi looks to draw on as this competition continues. So one of the major strengths when I look at Na'Vi, it's got to be just their individual experience. All of these players, I've seen them perform at the highest level on different teams, but this is really the, the real big precipice moment for them to be able to show that they can get it done together. And I think it took a little while for them to actually start doing that, but once they finally got into some Super Weekends, they definitely showed that, hey, we're here and we can definitely frag out. I think it's a great point. You saw the first two weeks of league play. These guys struggled quite a bit, and that could speak to chemistry issues potentially within the team. But as the weeks went on, weeks three and weeks four, these guys really dominated. Honestly, they came in in the third super weekend with two different chicken dinners and another second place finish. So Navi starting to put points up on the leaderboard in week three. And then in week four, on the first day of super weekend, the very last super weekend, they came out and placed first, second, and third all in the same day, so they definitely have that potential and certainly that individual experience to succeed on this higher level. That's what I'm looking to hope they do. Hopefully they're able to just go ahead, make it happen in the finals, because at the end of the day, you only have four days, so you can't have any more time, you know, all the synergy excuses. They're out the way, Navi. Come bring it in the finals and show us what you can do. I know you can do it. If there's any team that can do it, I expect it's going to be Anadis Vincere. These guys are legends of the esports world. Hope to see them perform well at the PUBG Mobile Global Championship Season Zero Finals. You guys can tune in to Root Navi on, on January 21st, only on PUBG Mobile Esports.